So as pretty much all of you know, Final Fantasy VII Remake is available for pre-order. It's actually been available since like 2015, since they pretty much revealed it, which is obviously very scummy because we had no idea when the game was going to come out. But they made a big emphasis on the pre-orders at the end of their E3 press conference for FF7 Remake. There's the Standard Edition, the Deluxe Edition, and the First Class Edition. Now the First Class Edition is exclusive to the Square Enix store. And by the way, that First Class Edition is expensive as hell. You're looking at $330 plus tax. The only difference between this and... And the deluxe version, besides the figurine itself, is the Carbuncle Summon, which is a cool summon, but let's be honest, that's not that much. And I'm not sure how much these Play Arts figurines usually go for, but you're essentially, it being a $60 game brand new, you're essentially paying $270 for the Play Arts figurine of Cloud and the Carbuncle Summon. That's way too goddamn much. But if you're an avid collector of FF7 merchandise, I can see why you'd want that. It's just not for me. But anyways, the point of today's video is there's already a sell going on for the remake for pre-orders over on Amazon for the regular version and the deluxe version. So as you see, if you come on over to Amazon.com, the game is currently on sale, the standard edition, for $10 off. So you can get Final Fantasy VII Remake for $50. That's pretty good, man. $10 off already. The game, like, just really... I mean, we've known about it for a long time, but we're really getting to see it just now, within the past couple of weeks. And it's already on sale for $10 off. Same thing for the Deluxe Edition, which of course it is good. I mean, the Deluxe Edition comes with a lot of stuff. Art book, steel book, soundtrack, Cactuar Summon, and the Chocobo Chick Summon. And you're getting that for $70. You'd already pay $60 for the game brand new, so why not get the Deluxe version for $70? Like, that's barely even a difference in price. And when it comes to the Deluxe Edition, they say it's available on the PlayStation Network, but you're not going to get these physical items. They're not going to, like, mail you the steelbook, the art book, and the mini soundtrack. They can maybe somehow give you a digital version of the art book and the the mini soundtrack, but you're still not going to get the steelbook of the game. So you're essentially going to be paying $80, $20 more than the regular version for the two summons, essentially. So it's not your standard news video that we would do for a game, but it is important. It's going to save you guys some money. In case you either haven't pre-ordered the game yet, this is a good time to pre-order it, save yourself 10 bucks. Or if you maybe pre-ordered it for $60 over here or $80 over here, you can cancel that and come over to Amazon and save yourself $10. And don't get me wrong, digital versions are awesome because you don't have to have like any storage space or whatever, and you can play the game as soon as it goes live, essentially. But the way Amazon usually works when it comes to pre-ordering stuff is it should arrive at your house the day it's like live. So like you should get your physical copy of FF7 Remake, whether it's the Standard Edition or the Deluxe Edition on March 3rd, 2020. And hell, you might get lucky, man. Sometimes people get shit early. Like sometimes people have ordered from Amazon and other stuff like that and received a game a couple of days early or a week early or something like that before everybody else in the world is even playing it. You could be one of the first people. So you never know what could happen. But regardless, the point of the video is to save you guys some money in case you haven't placed your pre-order yet. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And want to stay up to date with more Final Fantasy VII Remake content, turn on my notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the Dashing David. I'm a Discord. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys.